What we're gonna talk about today is money. A lot of people who wanna make that six-figure income or that seven-figure income with little regards to profit. Snapchat was just sold for 24 billion or something like that. I didn't get into it and people were talking about it. Now, Snapchat hasn't made any money. Many people are doing Amazon FBA the same way. Scaling it up, they're selling stuff super, super cheap. And the profit tip, it's not really looking that good. Someone I helped out this weekend, another reason my weekend was long, who got themselves into a situation by building a company first and focusing on profitability last, which is always crazy to me because a lot of people are talking about Snapchat. As you know, Snapchat hasn't made a profit work out for them. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Historically, I'll just speak from my experiences. All of my businesses that did not make a profit failed one through five. Everything after that, that didn't make a profit, G money bags. <laughs> so you're saying chase money first, chase needs second. Here's the thing. You need to chase service first. Okay. You got to find a group of people that need what you got to sell them, give them whatever. You got to find that first. You have to have some profits. One of the things that people do is give away their stuff for free just to get started. It can create some problems. Like I'll, I'll go into something that I did listening to some other people and it didn't really work out. Uh, didn't Amazon not make a profit from years? Let's talk about that. I'm going to jump on that. That's Louis the seller. Okay. Amazon quote made money. This is what Amazon did. This is something I've done. Amazon made money in, well, before I get into that, let's just talk about how does a company make profit using Amazon? Amazon makes billions and billions of dollars a month, right? What Amazon did for a very long time was they took all of their money that they made. They made money. Money and profit are real slippery things, but they made money and they took that money to grow. So Amazon and quote, make a taxable profit but Amazon made mad loot for years. So that's the whole thing in terms of them. They built their own infrastructure. They built their own web services. They made money that they chose not to turn into profit because they wanted to grow the company. Big difference. Gothic Angel Kennels. Thank you. Morning, Glenn. Love the videos and knowledge you pass on. Yeah, that's what a lot of people get things confused. Amazon made money. They chose not to liquidate the money into the forms of profit because they didn't want to pay taxes and they wanted to grow the asset, which was the company. There are many people out there who are not playing Amazon's game because they're not making money. Let's talk about profit and making money. I'm going to tell you something that I'm going to do. I'm going to take my car and I'm going to sell it to my corporation. Because I sell it to the corporation, that is an expense that I can use to write down my taxes. I got all kinds of stuff because I had someone help me. But everything that I bought for the company, including this computer, including the cameras and the computers and stuff, let's just say the total investment is 500000 between you know, the car, the cameras, cash infusions. Until I make a beyond and above 500000 the company's made no money because we're still trying to pay back all of those expenses. But the company, well, the company hasn't made profit. Until I get to 501 cents, I don't have any profit, but the company's making money. That's the big difference. That's what a lot of people don't understand because typically many business owners will write down their expenses to avoid paying taxes. Because, all right, here's something that one of my clients is going to do. You know what a G-Wagon is? You might see a G-Wagon in my life very soon. You, you got the G-Wagon. It's uh, 185 to 250. If you want to trick it out, it could be more. Now, the client's going to get the G-Wagon and the client's going to hire a driver. Now, the G-Wagon is going to be a company car. So all of that money is a legitimate business expense, right? So until those expenses are surpassed by in the income of the revenue of the company, you're still in the hole, even though you're riding around every day in a brand new G-Wagon. You got two choices here. You could pay an insane amount of taxes or you could take the money, put it in the company, grow that asset, and enjoy your life. Brian Knight, I needed to transition to the BI side of the cash flow quadrant. I'm a software engineer making six figures, which has me comfortable, but I'm sick of working for this money. I want my money to work for, for me. Where are you on the six figures? Because I was actually going to title this the myth of six figures, right? Because let's say you're doing a solid 100,000. 
32, depending on what state, say you live in New York, maybe 50 goes towards some type of taxes. So you only get to use 50% of your money. The mode is collaborating a bad thing. I give them clothing from my site and they give me exposure on their Instagram. Is that good or bad? Well, the mode, if you're properly set up with an LLC and then you give those clothes to these people to promote, that's called a promotional expense. So if you chart it and you write it down, you can save money on your taxes. So that could be a good thing. I don't know what the top five books on marketing. I'm too busy writing my own G money bag. Zero one. What's up? Our favorite truck. <laughs> uh, G rank. Should that be an S corp or a C corp? That really depends on what you're trying to do. If you're going to have investors or you're going to sell shares, you got to do a C corp. If you're going to do an S corp, eh, there's a member, there's a limitation on member. So Brian is like right there at that cusp because it makes good money. But the thing is, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, but you're seeing your money not go as far as it used to. And it's a little getting a little tight at times, depending on where you live. What's up, Rana? Ah, Nevada. So you don't have to pay no state taxes. I can't leave because every state taxes would give me the big cut for the same salary. Let's take Brian. Brian does six figures, right? Brian's in a better position to start a business than most people because he has enough money to have something that's called excess at the end of the month. Uh, what's up, Glenn? Important lesson. Know your numbers and learn what they mean. Yes, yes, yes. Izzy, Amazon just lowered the affiliate commission starting this month. You know, I did those videos. No eBay, no Amazon, more money. I predicted all of this stuff two and three years ago. I'm not going to say leave Amazon because that can actually help you make a higher income. But understand and know that Amazon ain't your business. You know, laying the foundation for more money is there's a few things you got to do. Because this is where a lot of people tend to run afoul. This is where their, their hustle ship is out in the ocean and it hits the rock. And I see this in Facebook groups that I used to be a member of. I'm no longer in it, but I just see it all over the internet. People are trying to establish multiple streams of income before they knock down that one. For a long, long time, I did that one thing. And that gave me the ability to do other stuff because you got to pick something. If you want to do Amazon or you want to do eBay, you need to pick it and go hard as you can and leave everything else to the side because I see people doing Amazon by merch. I see people doing Kindle publishing. I see people doing eBay, Amazon. There's only so many hours in the day. Another thing that we're going to talk about in the foundation of higher income is how to pick the right things for you because I see a lot of low budget shit going on down here and this really, really keeps people stuck. Money bags, I think Amazon's overrated. I don't know if it's over, I mean, oversaturated. I, it could be because they, they just have too many people selling small, cheap shit. That's really sucking the the, the platform down. Uh, Brian, only over six figures one year ago. It's the first time there's more money at the end of the month than the month at the end of the month. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Matthew, 50% darn near six figure salaries really taxed that high. Okay, when I say tax, let's talk about tax. There's your federal, FICA, Medicare, all that stuff. You make a solid 100,000, 32 to 38, depending on what state you're in is gone. So that leaves you 52, 54,000, right? Oh, you got to pay the park. Oh, you get speeding tickets. Oh, you got property taxes. Damn near 50% of everyone's dollar goes to some kind of tax. Speeding tickets are a tax if you didn't know. Bruce Baby, 7-7. Seven, seven. Uncharacteristically early here in Arizona and doing some songwriting. Got the email that you're live and finally getting to watch in real time. Love the content. Appreciate it, Bruce Baby, 7-7. Seven, seven. Some of these names are awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, G Money Bags. Okay, but you say pick, pick what? A subscription based service or hire developers to build a website? Good question. When I say pick, you got to figure out something that you can do long term. Okay, let's let's use relationships, you know, a relationship analogy. All right, you, you meet this girl, right? And she's awesome. And you like having sex with her, right? But that's the only thing you like having with her. You don't want to hang out with her. You don't want to talk with her. You don't want to go to dinner with her. You just want to have sex with her. At some point, that shit's going to get old. And that's how a lot of people pick their business. They'll get something sexy and there's only one thing that they like about it, realizing that if they want to have a long-term relationship, they like they need to like how it looks, how it smells, how it walks, how it chews, all that stuff. So essentially, you got to move away from what everyone thinks you should be doing and go ahead and create something that you enjoy. Like I enjoy writing. I enjoy creating videos. I enjoy doing all the stuff I do. And I don't really have to take a vacation from it to enjoy life, if that makes any sense. We'll talk about that because there's a lot of stuff out there in the world of hustler porn that goes on. Funny analogies that miss it. It's real, man. People pick business ideas. Like right now, Ty Lopez and all these people are like social media managers. And 
you know, you can dig 29, 30,000 a month and it's sexy, right? But there's a lot that goes to it. Dustin Doyle, I'm currently selling on eBay, but I don't fully trust him. So starting to promote my stuff on social from my own website. That's called winning, man. That's a winning move. Gothic Angel Kennels. Find some good stocks with good dividends, quarterly payout. Oh, you're talking about that. Brian, I went from 38K 18 months ago to 120 now. I got a question for you, Brian. <laughs> Did it almost seem surreal when you made that jump to four times your income? Just, just curious. Uh, let's see. Collapse. Even if Snap and Uber don't make money, I'm sure their founders made money selling a good chunk of equity. Uh, collapse, that's 100% true. But see, the thing is, let's really look at that because we were having a debate about it on Facebook. You're the founder of Snapchat and your early round of accredited investors got in and y'all made money. Okay, so Snapchat sells for 24 billion and maybe 15 people make most of the money. So the company made money for the founders, but the company's not making money to for the company. So there's a nuance there. Let's see, radio control trucker. If sex is the bi ba basis of the relationship, your other half is no better than a whore. <laughs> I have enough respect for them if you care <laughs> not do that to them. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh man. That's uh bless you, Valencia. Oh, this mic's picking up pretty. Yeah, she's here. She's just not doing the stream today. Hi guys. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, um, the whole thing is we're gonna talk about that because how do you pick something? What do you pick something? Like it depends on where you are in the in the country, it depends on <laughs> what you're doing. Uh G Money, in your opinion, what internet business is best to scale? one that you fully appreciate and respect like okay if you are someone that loves twitter i hate twitter but if you love twitter you can win on twitter if you love instagram you can win on instagram if you love facebook you can win on facebook it's not so much the platform or the business it's the person behind the platform and the business um i like youtube as much as you know there's all these things with trolls and all this other crazy stuff but it works for me Let's see. G Money, or do we just do the YouTube niche blog and sell courses? Once again, you got to dig a little deeper. That's funny. You know, I speak truth, Glendon. Uh, what do you prefer in real estate and what works best? Well, we're not really going to talk about real estate. We're going to talk about high income because. One of the things that I'm going to do is avoid all of the stuff that everyone else is doing. There are so many business topics, business concepts that no one's talking about. Um, Melissa V, I've picked the problem. I picked the problem I have is I can do either a storefront small, but month to month, so less scary, or warehouse more space for a year lease. What's up, Rose? Good morning. I'm interested in lead gen for my business. What's a good platform to use? Once again, it depends upon your business. I'll give you an example. Say you're selling clothes. You would use Pinterest. You would use YouTube. Not, yeah, YouTube. You would use Instagram. Facebook, I don't really know. But I know for a fact there are people making crazy money selling fashion on those other platforms. All right, going back to Melissa V. You got to make a decision. Now, this is the thing where the courage comes in because I've been in a situation where we had moved the business from the garage. We had got like 21 booths in the Latonia flea market and then made that move for the warehouse. I'm going to tell you, it was one of the best moves I ever made. Mondays are like New Year's Day to an entrepreneur. I love Monday. Yeah, all these big corporations do things to create tax efficiency. See, when you're looking at Amazon or you're looking at a GE or Microsoft and Apple or I guess Snapchat now, I don't have to worry about that. But that's a whole different ball game. Okay, I disagree with that quote. <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, I like to paint stick figures, but how can that make money? Uh, G money bags. Have you ever been behind those soccer moms with those little stick people on the back of the SUV or the van? And it's like his dad, mom, the kids and the dogs. Those are stick people, man. And they make it. There's someone who prints those stickers up and they make millions. So once again, 
It's about your vision, what you want to do, and how you want to do it. And in the Foundation for Higher Income and other courses, like, you know, just to be clear, it's just so you understand. Like, for those of you who were not on the email list, you missed the deal. Because here's the thing. You're going to get every course that's going to happen in the Hustlers Kung Fu Business School. And every course is going to come with a special T-shirt. So everybody that got in yesterday and for the folks who get in tonight, if we come up with 15 T-shirts in a year and you pay what you pay today, you're still getting those T-shirts. You don't have to pay anything else. Not even shipping. Unless you're, now. Nah, you know what? Even if you're international, we'll still pay the shipping. So you might want to go below the video and get that deal before 11.59 tonight. It's actually Moxie too. There are times I know you are best kept. You are a best kept secret. This knowledge is a compilation of way too many business books. I wasted time reading. Oh, since you know, let's do this. Since y'all are there, hold on a second. I'm gonna be right back. Yep. Let's see live now. Let's put up. There's there's so many ways to make money if you're open to making money. Many people want to make money based on the way that they want to make money. It's kind of wild. I'm just waiting for my thing to do what it needs to do. Is it going to work? There we go. I meant to do that earlier. Uh, Brian, I live off 75% of my paycheck and I stack the rest in the savings account. I actually feel fearful that something's going to go bad or I'll lose. It sounds crazy, but when you have money like that, I mean, first of all, th that's another reason we're doing the foundation for higher income. It is a journey when you're like making 40 grand a year, right? And then let's say you bump up to 200,000 and then you get to this position where anything you want, you can get it. And there's still money in your bank account. You pay all of your bills at the beginning of the month. There's still money in your bank account. You even go out and like, hey, fuck it. I'm going to the Bahamas first class and there's still money in your bank account. It changes you. And some people can't handle the ride. Some people, this is where tribalism comes in. Like if your family is traditionally poor and typically whatever economic strata you were born in, that's where you're going to stay most of your life unless you just make a big change. It's a journey. And that's another reason we're doing that. Let's see. Let's go down. Yep, that's definitely the scarcity mindset. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, look at up life is crap. T-shirt sticks figures. T-shirts sell like mad. See, this is something that I want you guys to really understand. There are people out there who, you know, some 25 year old who's selling T-shirts is making a million, million dollars a month. But he's not on social media. He's not on Instagram. He's not putting up quotes. He's not popping bottles. He's not you know, standing next to his plane because right now his ass is at work. And typically, you know, I can speak to the upscale garage sale business. I wouldn't have had time for YouTube. We were so busy buying units, selling stuff, marketing. Uh, upscale garage sale every Saturday for that cash dividend. So there's a lot of things we'll talk about. Let's see where we were. We were we. CN, thanks for the business wisdom. Being from a foreign country, I'm surprised how people don't see the opportunities are here. Uh, CN, I've talked to that to that that sentiment to many many people, and part of it is a lot of us as Americans are just spoiled in the title. If, you know, I, I got in trouble. I was talking about most people in this country. You know, our poor people would be seen as rich people in, in real poor countries because poor in America is, you know, except for the homeless people sleeping out in the streets. But if you've got a roof over your head and, yeah, you're living in the hood and you're there's pop, pop gunshots, you are not living in like Africa where, you know, a lion may come snatch your kid or you got to get up in the morning and you got to go two miles to the river to get water to drink, bathe and cook on. That's, you know, that's poor in the rest of the world. And a lot of us just have never experienced that. Did you feel like you you were going to make it before the results were like you knew the work was going to prove everyone wrong before the numbers supported your evidence? I really didn't know if this shit was going to work. I didn't really care because this was my thing. 
I used to work in the hospital, right? And I used to see a lot of old people. And, you know, in the process of, you know, doing what we had to do for them, you, you know, have a little chit chat with them. And so many of these people regretted the shit that they didn't do. I just heard that over and over and over and over again. And I was just like, shit. So that was my focus. It wasn't so much about I knew it was going to win. It was just, well, I'm going to try it. And if it wins, great. If it doesn't win, then I know it wasn't, you know, I couldn't make it happen. So I didn't want to live with that regret, man. That's just, I saw that it just ate people up. Uh, the Hectorix, I think too many people have unfinished business with the past before they can move forward to the focus of making money. I would agree with that. There are some people who don't feel that they're worthy of a high income, even if they have the talent and abilities. I got a friend like that. Brilliant. Poor shit. And probably will be that the rest of his life. Uh, G Money Bag Zero One. My thing is, I'm trying to scale, but so many people say different things kind of got me stuck. Uh, what you can do is stop listening to them and just go to work. What's up, Tyrone? Hey, Glenda, thank you for your time. What is your take on choosing the sex industry as one choice for becoming an entrepreneur? Well, y'all know I write those 30 books. I'm going to say this. If that's your thing and you like it and you can deal with the moral judgment that's coming, and there will be moral judgment. Do what you want to do. It's nothing but money. Money is the problem. Money is the solution, Art Austin, pretty much. What's up, Raquel? Um, well, listen, my family was all in due to, to, to the poor money management. I'm working hard to never be like them. Yeah, I went through that with my mom. She was horrible with money. It was a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, Louis DeSalle, yeah, I saw that about the person who walks people. You want to know why? There are so many people, because I actually talk, was talking to Valencia about that last week, who don't have family. They don't have friends. There's a lot of people who don't have family and friends. They don't have people they can count on. They don't have relationships. They don't have that boo or that aunt or that uncle, that mom or dad. So some stranger saying, hey, you know, for you know 20 bucks, I'll walk with you and you can tell me anything. It's a big need. Uh, G Money, should we learn the basics? One of the things we're going to talk about is and I'm actually gonna do some live training. Only eight to nine percent of all commerce is done online. Okay, so by the time that you learn copy, cold, and online sales, you could have built a million dollar business out here. That's I'm just being honest with you. Why do you think I started Mac Daddy Media, which is a media agency, and essentially I plan on doing a lot of work local. Hence the reason that I needed to hire people who were local versus remote. You know, Louis a Louis a madman. Hey, Glenn, thanks for the content. Found some of your videos about a year ago. Would you be able to tell me about? Uh, I'm gonna assume that is uh, S L S Corp LLC as opposed to a regular LLC. You got to file a form with the Internal Revenue Service saying that this is an S Corp. That's pretty much it. Let's see. Scared women who want to go out after dark, Diana. Yeah, I actually got a little talk about that, too. Thanks, Izzy. Yeah, that's going to be more. I agree. Africa is big. Just try and make it. I like that. My boys want to design and create video games, but people keep telling them not to do it because it isn't practical. I tell them to do it because they have a passion and a talent for it. You sound like an amazing parent. Keep doing it and tell them to ignore those other fuckers because anyone heard of Warcraft, someone built it and there's like 8 million people around the world that pay $15 a month to play this game. So, yeah. Yeah, I think the white and black is going to be it, but I hadn't made the final decision. Africa is the next big thing. Most of my investments there are doing good. The government still sucked, though. Funny comment about the line snatching you up. Man, I mean, you see those tourists and they're, they're on these safaris and then the line, like, the line, like, bit the door and the door oh, it was like, oh, look, it's a line. And the door opened up the door and it was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, hey, you're not going to win against the line. Uh, we'll not be doing any V-necks right now in the first round, but there will be something coming later. There will be. 
when you promote your comments on YouTube, does the money go to you or you get to a cut? Like if you do a super chat, that dollar sign, I get that. I don't know. I don't really expect too much to happen with that, but you never know it. Yep. Everyone seems to agree. Yeah. Just tell your boys to keep doing what they're doing. The Chinese are flocking there. Yeah, I heard that. How do you feel about YouTube starting a streaming service? I love it. I finally caught the stream and missed everything. That's hilarious. Okay, so just before I'm out of here, go below the video. Go ahead and grab that deal because 11.59 tonight is a wrap. So with that, I will see you guys later.